Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound lithium sulfide. So let's find out where these elements are on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. So I have lithium first, right? And if I scan the periodic table, lithium is right up here. It's in group one, and it's represented by Li. All group one metals have a plus one charge, and keep in mind that everything in group one is a metal except for hydrogen. Hydrogen is a non-metal. So I'm gonna write that I have lithium, and it's a plus one. The next thing that I see is I see I, I have sulfide. It's an IDE ending, which means that chances are it's going to be a nonmetal. So this had to be sulfur, right? And if I scan the periodic table, sulfur is over here. Sulfur is represented as an S, and it's in this group that always has a negative 2 trend of oxidation state, right? So I'm just going to write that I have S with a negative 2. Now, since I have both elements and both oxidation charges, I crisscross them to just see how many of each element I need. So this plus one crisscrossed down, telling me that I needed one sulfur, and this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two lithiums. When you crisscross, you don't really have to write the positive or negative. It's just used as like a counting number. And now we're ready to write our formula. So I have lithium telling me that I need two of them, so I put a two. And then I have sulfur, and I need only one, so I could put the one, but technically you don't have to. And that's the end, guys. You're done. So lithium sulfide is just Li2S. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Love talking to you guys, and I'll see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.